Ah, uh, I think I need some shelving. I had to stop and think about what I wanted for a while. So I put together a list of pros and cons and settled on a low profile, open faced, off the floor shelf system. I'm going to need some boards with angles cut in them and I've already gone over how I do that in another video. So head over there if you want to know a simple and easy way to cut boards to exact length with angled ends. The bracket design I'm using is a simple L shape with a cross piece. This is the top piece that the shelf material will sit on. This is the back and that is done for a reason. So that gravity can be my friend and not my enemy. I decided to use this style in order to keep the front of the shelves completely open from one end to the other. Since I'm close to the end of this board, I'll pre-drill these holes. For materials and a cut list, head over to my website simplyeasydiy.com. Check the description, I'll have all the links. A couple of spacers keeps my cross piece centered on the other two boards. After nine of those, it's time for some cleanup. I have a very specific height I am placing this first shelf. I have a future project in mind that's going to force me to put it slightly higher than I initially wanted. I don't have a laser level, so I guess I'll do this the hard way. I suppose I could have chalked a line, but nah, well, this works. The studs in my garage are 24 inches on center, so every other one gets a shelf bracket attached to it. That looks good, let's keep going. Now that all the brackets are up, it's time to cut some shelves. Lay down a few pieces on a flat or flat-ish surface, plop some half inch OSB down on them, and get to cutting. To stiffen up these planks, I'm going to glue and tack a strip of 2x2 two two to the underside of each one. I have a program on my computer that allows me to input all the materials I'm working with and it spits back at me the shelf span I can have before I run the risk of sagging shelves. So there were a couple constants I was working with. I knew I wanted each shelf to hold about 300 pounds and I wanted a 48 inch span between the supports. So in order to accomplish that, I just played around with the numbers in my program a little bit and it turned out that I needed a strip of 2x2. Two and another piece attached to the front. If you want the exact sizes of these pieces, I'll have everything listed on my website, simplyeasydiy.com. Check the description. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Pinterest. If you like this video, here's a couple more you'll like as well. Until then.